Hello, Team Kindergarten. My name is John Gibney. I am the proud father of Johnny and Ellie Gibney in Miss Delana's kindergarten class. This is my wife, Jessica, who teaches at Tazem in the middle school. Our youngest son, Rory, who's in EC2. And I teach in the high school here at Tazem. I teach biology, uh, environmental science, and scientific issues. Uh, and a fun little fact, I actually got to teach Miss Delana's uh, children. And so today I wanted to show you a couple of experiments that we could do to follow up the plant unit that Miss Delana did with our kids with the seeds. I thought it was so great how Miss Delana got our kids wondering and testing hypotheses and conducting experiments and really thinking about uh, phenomena in our world. So some questions for our little ones that I would like to ask them and maybe you can at home. What do you wonder? What do you wonder when you look at these leaves that I have here? What do you have questions about? It's another way to say, what do you wonder? Like, what do you have questions about with this leaf? And I've found that our kids have so many questions. It's so great. What do you think? Why is this green? Uh, why does it feel the way it does? Can we figure out a way to test it together? Can we figure out a way to, to see what's going on here? So today I have two questions for us. I wonder, do trees breathe? Do plants breathe? I wonder, what do plants eat? If they can't eat food like me or you, what do they eat? How do they grow from a little seed to a big tree here at Taze? Well, let's do a couple of quick experiments to figure these out. Okay, my first question was, I wonder, do plants and trees breathe? I have to breathe. Like, I can't hold my breath underwater. I wonder if a tree has to. I wonder what it breathes. And so one way we can investigate this is we can take a leaf from a plant or from a tree, and we could take some of uh, maybe mom's hard fingernail polish. And so here I'm going to take nice, clear fingernail polish, and I'm going to make a small circle on the underside of the leaf. I'll then let that dry. For the purposes of this video, I have one that's already dry. I'm then gonna take a piece of scotch tape. I'm gonna try not to get my fingers all over it. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the fingernail polish and push down nice and tight. I'm then going to remove it And I can check it out. It's even easier to check out if maybe you have a glass that a, the parent would have to hold. Here, because I'm the science teacher, I'm gonna use a slide, but I can hold it against a glass slide. And if you look closely enough, you can see the veins, you can see um, characteristics of the leaf. But if you get really close, and maybe if you have a little bit of light on it, you might be able to see the stomata. Stomata are the openings in leaves to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide for the plant. So this can get into a fascinating discussion with your kids. It'd be tough, but you could tell them that what we breathe out is what plants take in, and they're able to use that to make oxygen. Now, my next question was like, what did, what did they eat? How did they get big? Hmm. Well, let's see. I can take a leaf and I can take a hole puncher and punch out a few holes, trying to avoid the vein. I can then take these hole punched ones out. Now this would be tough if you don't have a uh, syringe at home. Maybe you have like a, a cooking syringe. I'm going to put them in the syringe. I'm going to take the plunger. I'm going to very carefully put the plunger in. But I'm not going to squish the leaf uh, circles. Here, I'm going to have a glass of water. I have a beaker. It's the same. I'm going to put a little bit of baking soda in it. The baking soda is going to serve as the carbon source, right? When plants grow, they actually grow by intaking carbon dioxide and by taking water that we water our plants with. And plants actually split water molecules in half. Water 
um, as you remember for our science, is H2O. And so plants can split it into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen leaves the plant, and that's what we breathe in. So we actually get our oxygen from the water that is uh, um, watered on a plant. And then the H's, the hydrogens, get combined with carbon dioxide to make sugars. And so here, I'm going to take in some of the liquid. And I'm going to try and make sure I get some of the baking soda in there. That's a, a little cheat. A little tip, I guess is what I should say. So now here's the fun part. I'm going to push up until just a little bit of water comes out. I'm going to put my finger on. And then I'm going to pull down hard. I'm going to tap it. I'm going to push up again until a little bit of water comes out. Put my finger on it. I'm going to pull down hard and let go again. And what I should get is I'm starting to get some of the uh, leaf discs to sink. And the reason, parents, that the leaf discs are sinking is because by putting your finger on it, you're creating a vacuum, and we're actually sucking all the air out from inside of the leaf. And so here was the stomata. There's stomata on top and on bottom. There's more on bottom of the leaf. And on the inside is areas that would fill up with oxygen and carbon dioxide as they're being exchanged. And so we're taking that out. These will now sink to the bottom. Oh, we did a pretty good job there. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to pull the bottom out so that way they fall into my beaker or my glass that I have at home. And here they are. They should be at the bottom. I'm now going to go put this underneath a light source and wait for them to rise. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, here I'm back about five minutes later. And you'll see that uh, some of them are starting to rise up here in my little grow light apparatus. And so here's one that's kind of floating up. And more will come up over time. But if you look at them, you'll actually see little bubbles coming from the other side. And those bubbles are oxygen being made through photosynthesis. And so just to review, it's water that uh, the plant is taking in. It's splitting that water, which is going to release oxygen. So that's going to make the, uh, the leaf chad more buoyant. And it's going to make it float upwards. And it's taking the H's from the water. And it's combining them with CO2 or carbon dioxide to make sugars. And sugars are uh, carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens in a one to two to one ratio. So hopefully there's a fun little trip back down uh, high school science memory lane. And hopefully you could use those little activities to talk about, you know, what do plants breathe and what, it, what might they eat. And so they're going to eat carbon dioxide, which is uh, a tough one for our students to get and tough for many um, adults to get. But it's uh, a wonderful things that plants do for us. All right. Take care.